Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we have a VenLab digital multimeter, the VM600M, to take a look at. Now, full disclaimer, this was sent to me by VenLabs for review on this channel, and if you are triggered by things like that, then you should probably go watch cat videos, as my friend the Smokin' Ape says. So, without further ado, let's get at it. This is a digital multimeter that was sent to me from Venn Labs, and here's what the box looks like, and this isn't technically an unboxing video, although I am unboxing. And inside, of course, we have the meter, we have some batteries sent to us with it, we have our user's guide, and of course we have a set of probes, unboxing complete. So the meter feels already like this is a very solid build. Let's get into this thing. And I can tell you right away, uh, I like the feel of this. It has a rubber case around the meter for shock protection. It has a bail to stand the meter up on the back for easy use on your bench. It has a magnetic hook here, a magnetic fastener, and a hook so you can hang this meter or magnetomically connect it to a thing to, to hold on to. I can also tell you from looking at the end of it here, we have a flashlight function and we have an NCV, non-contact voltage detector. That's built into the meter. This is an upgrade from the VM600A that we've had on this channel before. So right off the bat, we can look at the meter and we can test resistance up to 60 meg ohms, which is awesome. We can do continuity. We can go up to 1,000 volts. Uh, that looks like DC and 750 volts AC. We can also test current up to 20 amps. And we have two different ranges for current. This looks like the milliamp range and then this is the amp range. And then a couple of functions over here. Uh, 100 microfarad, so that's com some capacitance text testing. And then, of course, we have uh, duty cycle testing. So we can test um, the frequency of an object. Of course, it has the standard connectors that you'd expect to see. Um, a hot, which is also used for voltage testing, resistance, and frequency tests are common. And then our two amp leads for testing current. Of course, one of these is for 20 amps and one is for milliamps. Of course, on the meter, it gives us warnings and shows us that this is limited to 600 milliamps and it is fused. This one is limited to 20 amps and it is fused. And then once again over here, here's our voltage ratings for DC and AC and our, uh, the type of probes that you should use if you are doing tests like that. On the front of the meter, we have some indicator lights. This is a true RMS meter, so let me get the batteries put in this and let's take a look at it. So if we look at the specs in our manual, it will tell you all the different specifications for the device for the VenLabs meter. So this is a 6,000 count display. It will tell us if we have low battery, it gives operating temperatures and all that kind of information, the fuse capacity, the various frequencies that the meter will read and how much resolution you have on those frequencies. So this is our input voltage range. This is for testing our transistors, NPN or PNP type, and a base current of about 10 microamps and a VCE of about 2.8 volts. Here's our DC voltage ranges. And this is a nice little chart in this. So you have a very good idea of what this will, uh, what this will show us. AC voltage ranges, AC current ranges, DC current ranges. And a lot of this, I'll be honest, is safety related stuff. So before you start plugging this into things, you, you should take a look at this. Our resistance values, it will do diode continuity, which we'll check here in a minute. And then it gives care and maintenance. And then the instructions in other languages. Okay, I've got batteries in it. And you can see the meters on here. Here are the probes. These feel very solid. These are cat three probes and they have a little um, protection device on the end so you don't poke yourself with them 
Um, as I said, it has a flashlight function, which you can get by pressing, long pressing this button. This is also the backlight. And then if we press and hold, of course we get the flashlight. Seems pretty bright on camera. And then one short press turns all that off. We have a function hold, which works exactly like you'd expect it to. It will hold whatever readings that we're doing at the moment. The meter has auto off. I can also turn it to the off position in the center and that cuts it off immediately. And when you switch this to the DC range, which is this white range here, the meter clearly says DC up in the top corner. Let me grab a battery and there's one sad nine volt battery. So that's working. We got DC voltage. Great. All right, let's test AC voltage. Again, I have a outlet right down here by my leg and we've got 120.9 volts AC. So that's working great. Awesome. The meter will also test frequency. So I have a electrical outlet here. This is 120 volt AC. And you can see that we've got 60 Hertz AC right there. Let's take a look at resistance and we're going to put it on the uh, 5K range and use our little resistance substitution box here. I have the resistance box on 330 ohms. We're on this side. And if we change that to 470, 680, and now we're out of range. So we need to crank up the range to the 5,000 range. 6,000 range, excuse me. So there's our 680. There's 1K, 2K, well actually 2200, 3300. So there we go. It auto ranges within a range. So the resistance function works great. All right, let's disconnect that. So let's move this to our capacitance range. So we are set at 560 picofarads, and as I change this, it is, oops, you can't see that. As I change the knob here on the value, you can see we're reading, we're saying 820 on the box. We've got 806 picofarads, and it has the little pico symbol up in the corner. This cord is plugged in on the other end. And you can see that it's reading, there is voltage there. So that works just fine. So this is a pretty swank little meter. Let's do a quick, I set up a capacitor, but we did that with the box. So let's do a quick continuity test, which is down there. And that's nice, the light lights up and it howls at you while you're doing continuity. So that's great. Here's our diode test. And I have a diode plugged in here. Okay, so I've got set up here a little circuit to test an LED and we'll uh, take a look at the current that it's drawn. And this is gonna be a few milliamps. We're on a nine volt battery with a inline resistor lead here. And you can see our LED is on and 1.26 milliamps of current and the meter shows up in the upper right corner here that we're on the milliamp range. All right, so we've looked at the Venlab VM600M multimeter. This meter is appears to be an upgrade of the VM600A which is on Amazon and there's a link to the 600A in the description below. This is available on eBay right now from the Kaiwitz store as well. Uh, and I will put a link to that in the description below also. Guys, I'm, I'm happy with the meter. It works great. It does everything I needed it to do. I did not test the transistor settings because I'll be honest, I've never worked with transistors and I don't really understand what I'm looking at. I don't know anything about the IR receiver piece. Never done anything with that either, and it's not something I'm going to ever use, most likely. But it does the blinky light thing, so yay. Guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new content. I appreciate y'all stopping by. 73, y'all. Have a good one.